product selection, what would be worthwhile, given all of the competing projects out there that are competing for your money, your time, your resources, and your energy. So, that's what we're going to do tonight. So, the first thing I'd like to do is to, is to say one of our resources is to invite, involve, and inspire. And I think that pretty much fits with the Rotary philosophy, doesn't it? You invite a project like this, you're going to have to enlist the help of a lot of people. And you're have, going to have to get the word out. You're going to have to get community involvement, both here, both there, maybe internationally. So you need to think about, and we're running out of time here, so you need to think about what it is you're going to do to get the word out. How are you going to get the word out? And I'm just going to leave that with you. I'm not going to ask you that. And the last thing, of course, is the emotional engagement. What's the inspiration for doing this? Is everybody emotionally committed? Uh, are there other projects that some of you might think are more worthy? And that, that, at the end of the day, is an emotional decision. You know, what, you know I think this, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm from India, okay? I haven't been there, um, you know, for, I don't know, 20 years. But I still consider myself an Indian. So if it came to the crunch between, between say, India and Jakarta, and while I've got nothing against Jakarta, I would pick India. But that's my emotional decision. But, and in a club like this, with so many people from so many different cultures, you've got to take that into account. So you've got to say, okay, I'm going to put that on the table as well so that I can look at this in a more dispassionate way. Does that make sense? So, the interest is uh, Timor-Leste. Uh, recently, a, a new country, uh, historically, has had a pretty rough time. Uh, in World War II, some tens of thousands of um, Timor-Leste citizens died supporting the, uh, the Allied war effort, and yet, yet today they're in a pretty pile of state. So, um, it's kind of a community which is small enough that we in Australia could, could help. Uh, our government hasn't really helped it, and uh, yeah, we, we'd like to help it. We see, in, in accordance with um, the new Rotary theme, uh, building communities, bridging continents, that uh, we've got to do something about education in, in Timor Leste to, to help the people there. It's no good just giving them some money to have a holiday or something. We've got to do something about education. So. There were a few projects mentioned at the Renton District Conference, and um, we've been thinking about those. So there's uh, introducing RILAR, the uh, Rotary Youth Leadership Training and Development Program, introducing that into Timorlet, and um, improving the teaching. So uh, training teachers so that they can better develop, and that's the kind of thing we're looking at. Okay. All right, so that's, that's the detail in a nutshell, if you like. Okay. So what's the impact? What's the impact going to be on the East Timorese? What's the impact going to be if you do this project? What's the impact going to be if you do nothing? What's the impact going to be on the club, the district, and whoever else is involved? Okay? You'd all be saying, okay, what do I believe the impact is? What do, you, what do I believe that I could do? And what do I believe that will make a big difference to the people I want to help? So the next question, of course, is the contribution. So what's it going to cost? Who's going to have to be involved? How big is this thing? OK, well, there's a range of projects. Um, the the Rylar one, which I've been sort of peripherally involved with. Um, my wife and I were camp mum and dad at Rylar, so we... And the last one is engagement. You've got to get emotional engagement into whatever it is you do, because we're all emotional beings. Without that emotion that drives us, why would we get involved? Why would we want to do this? And as an organization, you've got to be able to enlist the help of not only yourselves, as a club, as a district, as an international, but a whole bunch of other people out there that need to get involved. So you've got to get emotional buying. Now, if you notice, nothing that I've said doesn't apply to normal business either. And one of the things that Bulan said to me when he asked me to give this talk was that Rotary is run very much like a normal business, which doesn't surprise me because most people are here, in fact everyone here is, is either. So what's the timeline for the project? Because it, this, this sounds like a long-term project. It doesn't sound like something you're going to do in a month or two months. It sounds like something that's going to go on for a number of years. Would that be fair? So what are the action steps that you're going to need to put in place to do this? Just very broadly. 
what it is. It's a decision making process. It is not a project plan. Okay? Nowhere have we actually talked about what you need to do to put this into action. That would be a whole different ballgame. So project management is a big issue and you've got to say, okay,